Hi, neighbor. Oh, looks like you left the chain on your door. My mistake. Let me get that for you. There we go. Now I can look at you properly. I haven't gotten a good look at you since you moved in. Unless you count me seeing you through the windows. Doesn't matter what time of night I come home, I almost always see you on your computer. Gotta get some thicker curtains, hmm? Privacy is very important. Speaking of, nice place you got here. <laughs> Just my little joke. It's the same floor plan as mine. I always wonder about what kind of people my neighbors are, what they do for a living to make rent in a swanky building like this. You know, those countertops are real Venetian marble. Did they tell you that when you moved in? The realtor wouldn't shut up about them. <sighs> Just went on and on and on and on, and I started to think about taking him to the wood chipper. You, uh, you into computers? Like, professionally? Some kind of tech uh, nerd? Huh. Well, hmm. I've got this opportunity for me. Great opportunity. A beauty. But the kind that could go real sour if not handled appropriately. I don't suppose you know anything about crypto. Say, you look sickly. Are you eating well? Do you want some soup? I'm going to make you some soup. Don't worry. It's practically the same as my own kitchen. Mm. But these knives... Uh, yay. I wouldn't draw this on a stick of butter. Good thing I brought my own. <laughs> now we're cooking. Just relax, sports fan. I'm going to rustle up some potatoes. Why don't you sit tight and listen real carefully to the nice lady with the gigantic knife? Hmm? <laughs> when you work in collateral, people get real creative when you start putting the screws to them. Honestly, I'm surprised every boardroom in liberal arts college doesn't have an iron maiden or two. Because the stuff people come up with when I walk into the room, <laughs> it'd blow your mind. Of course, just because it's out of the box doesn't mean it's going to work, but I'm an optimist. And if they don't come up with the, uh, uh, the collateral, there's always next time. And in this town, the interest rates are murder so to speak. <laughs> you look nervous. Is it the knife? <laughs> Thanks. My sister gave it to me. And before you go changing into your brown pants, try to pull yourself together a little bit, huh? For me? You look like you've just seen the Grim Reaper. What are you so scared of? You behind on your rent or something? <laughs> no. Listen, whatever problems you got, all I want to do is make you my special soup. Because we're friends. We are friends, right? Ah. <sighs> now where was I? Crypto, right. <laughs> See, I'm old school. Wire fraud. That's all the feds snoop on these days. Who sent money to what island? All that mumbo jumbo. That's not for me. Give me big stacks of money. And a dress with enough pockets to take some home for me. You know what I mean? Mm. So, 
Imagine my surprise when this real genius wise guy starts telling me that he has my collateral. But it's ethereal. It used to be dog biscuits that he traded for some sort of Chuck E. Cheese token in a smart contract with a used car salesman named Evan Ratface, Evan Ferret, Evan some kind of burrowing animal. Anyway, he says he's got my money in his wallet. So I said, all right, where's your wallet? And he says he can't show me his wallet because it's on his computer. Now that was awfully unfortunate because his computer had recently been in a high-speed collision with my favorite sledgehammer. But he was screaming and he was crying and he said he'd write down the password. And can you believe that? He says it's on the internet. A wallet with a password like email. (laughs) Have you heard anything like that before? I mean... This Bitcoin hocus pocus doesn't mean anything to you. Hmm? Then maybe you could see your way to uh, taking a look at this for me. I could cut you in, would cut you in. I. It's not these veggies that are going to be in some hot water. I promised I'd close the account with Captain Crying Crypto tonight, and, well, I just can't figure it out. It would be really helpful, though. (laughs) Well, thanks a million. I mean it. You need anything, and I'm your gal Friday. Do you have my number? Oh, of course you don't. It's... No, no. That's just a little bit of a... Ketchup. Things got a little messy when I was jotting it all down. Don't worry about it. Just, uh... Hold it like this and don't think too much about it. Okay? All right. Does, uh, does it look correct? Oh, (laughs) look at you go. (sighs) Easy as that. What do we do now? Do we just get a solid gold bar in the mail or, or what? (laughs) I'm so relieved I could just kiss you. Hey, hey, hey. Eyes up here, Bambi, when I'm talking to you. What's the matter with you? Can I sit next to you? I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. You okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd take it like that. I'll get you a bowl of soup. You'll like it, and we can be friends, just like I said, neighborly. Does that sound all right? Thank you. (laughs) You're a nervous one, aren't you? Like a deer in the headlights. Jeez. Don't be embarrassed. To me, it's just an expression. People in my family, they kiss all the time, you know, on the cheek. Just a nice way to say, I'm happy you're here. (laughs) You've got that look again. Don't tell me that just talking about kissing makes you like this. (laughs) Well, that's kind of cute. Are you sure you're scared? Or does a little part of you want a sweet reward?
Oh, say no more, my friend. Now keep your head still, play it cool. Thank you for being my friend.